Hi there, I'm Daniel Fisher and today we're going to have a small course on a simple implementation on step forward attribute selection for linear regressions. There are two popular algorithms for attribute selection on linear regressions. The first one is step forward and the second one is step backwards. Step backwards it's a little bit weaker than step forward, but way easier to implement because step backwards consists on removing one by one the worst attribute while the step forward consists in add one by one the attribute that implements best the model. Let's get into the action. First we load our dataset. read RDS, here we got the data set, it's called time series, and I'll show you the data set. This data set has the features in Spanish, but it's not important for the purpose of the course. Basically, we want to predict this value, which is ARPU, Average Revenues Per User, uh, it's a time series of average top-up per customer and here we have different attributes for each day. For example, this one that says Dia Libre means it's a non-working day or this one uh, here means if the, week of the, de the day of the week is Saturday. We have all that kind of attributes and we would like to use them in order to predict the ARPU. So, what normally happens is that we run a linear model where we try to predict all the all the uh, we try to predict ARPU in base, based on all the attributes I'm missing a comma here. Summary of fit. Let's take a quick look at the result. And as we can see, we have a lot of attributes, and we're not sure which ones are good or bad for the prediction. So, step forward and step backwards are two algorithms to choose which ones of all these attributes are the best one for the regression. I'll show you the, um, the the time series. Type equals R L. So the time series would be like this, and we're gonna plot on top the result of the model. lines to plot to make lines on top of the plot we already have data set no is fit um, we want the fit values color which just would call we want it in red we run this and here we have the predicted values the, there is a very good prediction we can see it's very correlated but since we have so many attributes and most of them don't have a, stat a clear statistic importance, we're not sure which ones should we use in order to predict further values. So what we're going to do is to implement a quick step forward. So first we're going to choose the, all the columns we want to use in order to uh, predict. So columns are all the columns but the column called R ARPU. So it's set diff of the call names of data set comma R ARPU. So it would, would be like this. It's all the columns. Those are the attributes we would like to use. Then we're going to create a vector with the selected 
attribute which in the beginning will be empty and in order to compare the performance of the different models using different attributes we're going to use the standard measurement r squared which is provided by the summary of fit how do we extract the r squared from here if we look at summary here we have the r squared so a very good way to look into the values is to use the str function so here we know that the r squared has this name r dot squared so we run summary as fit and we get the exact value extracted from the summary which is exactly this one oh, this one we're going to use this one not the adjusted it's this one so what we're going to do right now is to choose the attribute that improves most the model so first let's start with a dummy situation like this let's say we already selected some columns so selected selected will be let's say the third the fourth and the fifth columns so it's going to be the third the fourth and the fifth I do this so it's easier to understand let's say this is the situation we're right now and we want to run this model for each column so we're going to run a for call in columns what do we want to do first we want to create the linear regression formula which would be the the paste the union of the selected comma select comma call where we need a value for call let's say call would be the seventh column so column sub seven so and here we put the collapse and we separate with plus so we get this result that's the right side of the formula of the linear regression and then we want to convert this into a formula object so this is the right side and the I'll, I'll write it with capital letters so it's not confused with the function formula formula would be equals to paste uh, r pew comma right side so if we print formula print formula capital formula formula we get to try to predict r pew with the selected attributes plus each one here you see and the times when one of the attributes is repeated is going to appear just one because union is gonna is the uh, remove the repeated values now instead of printing the formula we're going to run the model so linear model of formula using data set we get the formula the linear regression but we only want the score so from this we get the summary summary and we put r squared so we only get the value that represents how well fitted was the regression and that number we're going to store it in a new vector called 
scores equals C which in the beginning would be empty so scores would be equals to concatenate scores comma this value so now if we execute this in this scores we get the R squared of each trial in order to choose the best one we need to check which one is the biggest the biggest would be the max of the scores but I want to know the index of the max so I make I write which max we I'm, I'm spelled sorry is the 28 and we want the column of that index column number 28 was the one that improved most the model so we want to add the column named dia libre this is the one we're going to add let's store it here let's print it too so we can check the the model as it's running print and selected would be c of selected comma added so now selected has added so now if we keep running this we're gonna be adding to our model the column that improves mostly the regression we add mess number dia sem domingo primer dia hábil so when do we stop we have to look at the results of the linear regression so here we're gonna create the linear regression fit fit equals to linear model where we want to predict r pu no r r pu in function of all the variables from data set but only with the columns r pu comma selected select so we only provide this smaller list of attributes and here we have the model we want to check the summary summary of fit so we check which variables are improve the model so let's start this over we run this model once and this part of the code first we clear the selected and we run this part of the code once and again and again so the first one we added was dia libre then we add ultimo dia hábil dia semana se sábado mes número and we still have very uh, significant significant variables so we keep doing this until the last one added is not significant that's step forward attribute selection in linear regressions so to make this funnier let's plot the regression each time we add a variable and let's see how it behaves so let's start with no values again let's make this plot a little bit bigger and we run this so first we have a linear regression that predicts these red values which are not very similar but then when we add a new column we start recognizing these spikes another one another one and as you can see the linear regression starts improving each time we add an attribute we already added many attributes and as you can see the last one added is not very significant so we should keep maybe the ones that are maybe we can try one more 
the last one is not significative so we should keep all the ones that have at least one star so I hope this lesson was useful and you can use it next time you have to calibrate a linear regression thanks for your time hope to see you again bye